Feeling overwhelmed discourages people from getting organized and decluttering. You don't know where to start. Now we're stuck at home. You see the clutter around your house. You have some extra time. So how do you get motivated? My husband was talking to his good friend Mark who said he had organized his whole bedroom. Now I've known Mark for 20 years. He's generous, kind, loving, amazing musician, but he is not an organized guy. So I zoomed him up to find out what motivated him to get off the couch. Welcome to the video. Can I talk to you about some organizing stuff? Sure, go ahead. All right. Keeping the kitchen organized has always been easier than other spaces. Still it. And, and uh, Tina thinks you're crazy because you'll clean the kitchen, but the bedroom is such a mess. Right. I've always felt that with the kitchen and it, it kind of comes back to because I know where everything goes. The reason I don't like organizing or I'm not good at it is because I'm, I feel bombarded with questions of, do you want this? If you do, where's it go? Are you going to use it? Blah, blah, blah. So that I'm, I'm inundated with questions that are smart, but I, if I don't want to make the decision, that's why I just procrastinate and leave it out and like, oh, I'll get to that tomorrow or get to the next time or whatever. What started your bedroom tidying spree? What happened? How far were we into the quarantine? We were probably a month into the quarantine. Okay. And I think what started was uh, we were trying to organize our day and plan out our day. And so because the kids are taking, um, school virtual you know online they have a set schedule so i thought what if we take one of those hours when they're doing their thing and mm -hmm. we concentrate just that one hour on an, a project and we started in the bedroom because it was probably the easiest and the messiest and one we're in the most frequently and i had probably three or four areas that needed attention mm -hmm. and so i just attacked one one took like a couple days, but then each after that was like one day of maybe 45 minutes, an hour and a half. We had a, an old baby changing table that kind of was like the catch all. And I didn't even, honestly, I didn't even know everything that was on there. I was surprised to find things that I'd been looking for. Why did you think it was easy if it was the most cluttered? Two reasons. It was easiest to do because I'm, uh, I, I didn't want to have my other choices. <laughs> I didn't want to do the garage, I didn't do my office. So that's why it was easiest. And then one is because I'm there all the time and I would get inspired by, or hopefully I was going to get inspired by seeing the results. Yeah. Okay. So you use the timer method, which I love. That works great for people who hate organizing. Um, you found some fun stuff in your pile, Jeff said. What did, what did you find? Money? Yeah, I found um, some gift cards from my 50th birthday party, so which was two years ago uh and money because i so that was just a bag on top of my dresser i didn't even know it was there uh did you enjoy like the process at all any part of it or did you just yeah get it over no no i enjoyed it because well two things one because i could see results it was uh inspired me to just keep moving about the room did you learn anything about yourself like any you know um any bigger lessons or anything or um i I don't know, bigger lessons, but I do, it, the bedroom is still how it was when I finished cleaning it. Oh. Like things are still put away where they go. Every time I walk in there, even the kids walk in there and go, you guys got so much more space in there. No, that, that's always true. That it, it has space for energy to move around and for things to happen. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks different too. I mean, it's easier to clean. That's amazing. I, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh well you you know you you've been over here before and there's a lot of work to be done but i think for me i get overwhelmed with the size of the project and that makes me paralyzed to start it's little by little i'm happy with the progress and i'll take it i think it's still a success to get an area of the house that i feel good about i would like if anybody i knew or didn't know walked in the bedroom i wouldn't be as embarrassed as i was before and, it, you know, so I like that feeling about it. So now hopefully that I can just kind of take that and and slide that over to the office a little bit and then eventually the garage. So when we come out of the shelter in place, um, 
I think it'll be harder for a lot of people to find this kind of time that you've had. So this is a perfect time to do it, to kind of, like you said, get the system set up so that when you go back to work and school, you just, it's already in place and you can just keep it up instead of tackle it, you know? Right. And I, I think I've, I've heard that from you before. It's easier um, if you have a system in place to just take five minutes a day or take 20 minutes a week or whatever, just to follow that pattern that you've set up. Well, it's so nice to talk to you as usual. Uh, good to see you. Okay, bye. Bye.